So the next thing I want to show you is freezing tracks up to a point. So for project setup here with three tracks with virtual instrument plugins on each and MIDI on each. Let's hear what it sounds like now. And if we go to the effects on these tracks, we can see I have a piano, virtual instrument, a reverb, a compressor, and an EQ. In this track, I have the same things along with a panning effect and a delay. Now, if these effects are taking up too much DSP processing or CPU processing, we can select the tracks and right click, go to render freeze tracks, and choose the freeze tracks to mono stereo or multi-channel. Let's choose stereo and that creates an audio file for each one of these tracks, which you can see right here. Now the effects are no longer on the tracks. As you can see, they're empty, but it's gonna sound exactly the same as those effects were printed to the tracks. But if we want to retweak any of those effects later, we can select the tracks again and right click, go to that same menu, and choose Unfreeze Tracks. And that puts it all back exactly the way it was before. We can see we still have our effects on these tracks. But let's say we're pretty happy with the piano and reverb, but we might want to tweak our compressor and EQ. We could do that by just freezing the first two plugins, or the first one, or the first three, just by choosing the last effect we want to freeze up to, and right clicking, go down here to freeze track, and choose freeze track to mono, stereo, or multi channel up to the last selected effect. Let's choose stereo again, and that creates another audio file. Again, it made an audio file for that track. But we still have some effects on this track, a compressor and EQ. The piano and reverb are frozen. So we can't tweak those at this point, but we still have the ability while saving the DSP from those plugins to tweak our compressor and EQ. Let's do the same thing with this other one. Again, we're happy with the piano and reverb, but we still want to tweak our compressor, EQ, pan, and delay. We can just choose the last effect we want to freeze up to, right click it, go to freeze track, and choose freeze track up to last selected effect. And again, it creates an audio file right over here with those effects printed on the track. And again, it's going to sound exactly the same. But now we could still tweak the other effects if we want to. Our compressor, EQ, pan, and delay could all be tweaked even though we printed or froze those effects. But at any point we want to get back to the other ones, to our piano and reverb, we could still do that. Just select these tracks, right click, go to render freeze tracks, and unfreeze tracks, restoring the previous effects. And that puts it all back to our MIDI where we can tweak any effect we had on the track. Our piano, reverb, and of course the compressor EQ. So it just gives us more options to only freeze part of our track, choosing just specific effects.